Sure. What we're uh, introducing and presenting to the audience today is um, four specific technology demonstrations to highlight the ultra precision capabilities of the IQ300. Uh, what we're sharing with the audience is the flexibility of the ultra precision platform for the tool, tool room environment, but also for the R&D and prototype environment, the ability to cut to nanometer levels of machine uh, surface accuracies. So the demonstrations uh, that we've prepared for the viewer uh, is an automated um, program that allows us to illustrate uh, in the first operation that you see is an ultra precision uh, planing operation that is actually creating a diffraction grating on top of a uh, material surface. So across the surface of the part we're creating a surface roughness that is in the 6 to 8 nanometer RA range and we have discrete step heights that range from 100 nanometers per step uh, as high as uh, 3,000 nanometers per step uh, depending on the location of the part. So this specific machine provides us with minimum mechanical increment of movement of 10 nanometers. So what that means to the user is he can <coughs> increment uh, a machining process by as little as 10 nanometers in X, Y, or Z axis direction to uh, create process iterations relative to his, his machining result goal. Uh, the controller uh, that you see on the operation panel, we're actually operating in five place metric. So what that means to the viewer is we have a live 10 nanometer digit from a control resolution, but on the mechanical side, we can control mechanical movement again in any axis to a degree as low as 10 nanometers per movement. So the, the design intent of the machine uh, is to provide dynamic performance, uh, repeatability, thermal stability over a long period of time uh, to a degree of less than one micron. So we want the operator to benefit from thermal stability design of the machine so that he does not experience thermal change or growth uh, outside of a micron over sustained periods of operation. For validating uh, the machine results, we need to apply metrology technologies that allow us to confirm the machine result to levels of, of one micron or below. So we have a, uh, a white light uh, 3D scanning system that allows us to measure uh, three-dimensional part surfaces. And this system has a resolution of 10 nanometers in the z-axis direction as it's scanning, scanning the part. And it also provides us a three-dimensional surface map of the features that we're machining. So in this specific application, the pins that we see are approximately 170 microns in diameter by 150 microns in height. So this system allows us not only to validate form accuracy, but also surface roughness, relative location of features, and more importantly, we're able to take the scan surface and then overlay our original design model to create a color overlay to understand better where the discrepancies of the machine part are versus the original design model. So this technology is imperative in understanding and validating the capabilities of the machining process at this level.